welcome, welcome, welcome back. Now, those of you, if this is your first time after reading this video, uh, this video's book with me, if you like what I've read, please check out the other videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, we have one more for a while of a rainbow fish adventure. Now, if you remember a couple of videos back, I've talked about how there are a couple of lines of separate story lines in the rainbow fishes uh, fairy tale stories. And um, in these particular ones, we have other writers that are continuing to write some of the stories for Mark Fister, who is the author of The Rainbow Fish. And I've read two stories from one of the lines. Now, the other, the other line of Rainbow Fish stories is The Rainbow Fish and Friends. And then they have different adventures. So this particular one under Rainbow Fish and Adventures and friends, sorry, Rainbow Fish and Friends, this story is a fishy story. Now, this is written by Gail Donovan and illustrated by David Austin Clare Studios. So, they've had some help at this one studio to draw out some of the images in this book. Now, this is a 2.9 for the reading level, which means second grade, ninth month. If you're able to read this test, this, this book and take a test, please do so. Read it three times after I've read it and then have somebody ask you questions. So at school, if you're able to take tests on this book, you can take the test but please make sure you read it three times after I've read it, okay? Now, let's begin with a fishy story. Rainbow Fish and his friends floated into the school cave. Attention, little fish, said Miss Cuddle. This morning, a new friend will join us. Her name is Angel. Now remember in one of the other story in the other two stories that I just read, Angel is already there. So this book would go before those two books. Her name is Angel and her family has just moved here from the western waters. Puffer waved his fin wildly. I've been all over the western waters. Really? said Miss Cuddle. I'd love to hear about it. Will you share your story with us? Miss Cuddle asked Angel to tell the class about herself and the Western waters. Well, the water is a dreamy green and is absolutely crystal clear, so you can see for miles and miles. I thought the water was purple blue, said Rainbow Fish. Angel shook her head no. The whole class turned to Puffer. I'm in a sunset, he cried. The water goes all purple. Miss Cuddle put her tentacles around Puffer. I love a good story, she said, and I see you do too. Thank you for the tall tale, Puffer. And when the other story, Puffer was telling some tall tales. Mm-hmm. After lunch, all of the fish went to play near the sunken ship. Come on, Rainbow Fish and Bunny Angel. We'll show you around. Hey, Puffer, said Tug. Now, who do you think we have Angel Fish, right? We talked about Angel Fish. We talked about Dinah. There's Puffer. We know who Rainbow Fish is. But let's see. Everyone loved the story Puffer had told them of how the ship had come to rest outside the school cave. They all circled around him chanting, Tell, tell. It 
It was a dark and stormy night, began Puffer, and the captain of the ship knew we were carrying too heavy a load. If we were going to hide out this to ride out the storm, they would have to lighten the load. So he gave the command. Throw the cargo overboard, Angel chimed in. Sorry, Puffer, I love that part. Go on, tell the rest. How did you know that? asked Rainbow Fish. It's a famous story, said Angel. About a sunken ship in the Butterfly Reef? We lived there when I was little. But Puffer, said Tug, you said that it happened here. Maybe it's the same ship, suggested Pearl. Yeah, right, said Spike. Maybe it drifted here, added Rusty, worried that his friends might start fighting. The prevailing currents go uh, go the other way, said Dinah. A ship in the butterfly reef could never drift here, not in a million years. Puffer, what's the story? asked Rainbow Fish. The real story. While everyone waited for an explanation, Miss Cuddle rang the bell. Puffer was first to, into the cave. Let's look at the world of the oyster beds, said Miss Cuddle that afternoon. Has anyone ever been to this fascinating place? Angel said, I have. Me too, added Puffer. We go there all the time. Splendid, said Miss Cuddle. I want to learn all about it. Angel, will you go first, please? They're quite beautiful, said Angel. There are oysters as far as I can see. And if even the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest little grain of sand gets inside an oyster, it makes a pearl. The only problem is it's terribly difficult to find a pearl. I looked and looked and never found a single one. I found a pearl, Puffer said. I found a whole bunch, hundreds. Miss Cuddle smiled. Look at my eight tentacles, Puffer, now. Let's try to imagine a 12 octopuses. We would have 96 tentacles all together, almost a hundred. So how many pearls did you see? Well, maybe it was more like 10 or nine or eight. Maybe it was a big lie, said Rainbow Fish and the others agreed. They were sure Puffer hadn't found any pearls. They were sure he'd never been, even been to the oyster beds. But I did go, cried Puffer. I really did. All right, said Rosie, in your dreams. That's right, said Miss Cuddle. Maybe Puffer's imagination carried him away about the number of pearls, but if he says he went there, then he did. Class dismissed. The next day, Miss Cuddle asked if anyone had anything to show and tell. I do, said Puffer. Everyone groaned. Ugh. Then Puffer held up something in front of the class. It's so shiny, said Rainbow Fish. It's huge, said Spike. It's true, said Pearl. We really did find a pearl. Angel told Puffer it was the most beautiful pearl she'd ever seen. You mean it? He asked. You've seen so many? I bet you're exaggerating. I am not. You're the one who does that, she joked. Puffer smiled. You're right, he said. I'm the busy, biggest exaggerator there is. Want to come over after school? She asked. I've got a fabulous book of sea stories we could look at. The one with the sunken ship story? Asked Puffer. I've read it a million times. I'd love to come over. 
me in. So again, puffer fish does a lot of exaggeration. Is telling a lot of times telling lies. He's telling those tall tales on what happened. He kept saying that he did go to the oyster. Um, the, oh, I believe it was the oyster beds. Went to the oyster beds and said he was finding he he probably more than likely didn't find like a million or hundreds but he did bring over a little pearl that he had and um so a lot of a lot of the other fish didn't believe him so again this story as long as the uh, as well as the other one trying to teach you don't tell fibs don't tell stories because when you want to tell something that is for real people aren't going to believe you so if you like this book you can go purchase it again it's um one of the spin-off um storylines of rainbow fish and friends and the title is a fishy story there are plenty more marcus fister books and um plenty other stories of a rainbow fish and friends and the other storyline that i have told you that i have told you about that i've read a couple of as well so i hope you like this video see you in the next one bye